my name is Vidhi Kamra and welcome back to my channel 5 Minute Economics where I teach economic concepts in a span of just 5 minutes. So today's topic is important economic terms for competitive examinations. So as we know that the exam fever is approaching very closely so I thought to make a video regarding the important economic terms. Terms which are often confused and mixed up by the students. Terms like GDP, GNP, depreciation, devaluation, balance of payment and balance of trade. So yeah, let's get started. So firstly, I'll be discussing those two terms which are often confused and thought to be the same, recession and depression. So basically, recession is the decline in the economic activity, whereas a depression is an extreme economic downturn in the whole economy. So basically, a recession later on leads to the case of a depression. A recession lasts for few months, whereas a depression lasts for few years. Here under recession, we see that the severity is not much, but depression is an extremely severe case. Here under recession we see there is a fall in GDP whereas a rise in unemployment as in the case of depression there is a higher fall in GDP and a higher rise in unemployment. Recession may be limited to one country whereas depression definitely has a global impact. So the situation of COVID-19 where we are currently is the case of a depression. Moving next to depreciation and devaluation. So please note that both depreciation as well as devaluation lead to the rise in the price of a foreign currency and fall in the price of the domestic currency. But depreciation is done by market forces of demand and supply whereas devaluation is done by the central bank of a country. This is a deliberate reduction. Whereas depreciation is under a floating exchange rate system and devaluation comes under a fixed exchange rate system. Both lead to the rise in exports and fall in imports thus rectifying the BOP. Coming next to balance of trade and balance of payment. So basically BOT is a statement which records a country's imports and exports of goods with other countries over a period of time. Whereas BOP is a statement which records all economic transactions by a country. This includes only physical items whereas this includes physical and non-physical items like services. This has no capital transfers but BOP definitely includes capital transfers from one country to the other. BOT can be positive, negative or zero, zero meaning balanced, whereas BOP is always zero that is balanced. BOT gives us a partial picture of the economy, whereas this gives us an overall picture of the economy. BOT is basically a part of balance of payments. Now I'll be talking about price ceiling as well as flow price. So price ceiling is the maximum price legislation that is the maximum price charge for a commodity whereas floor price is the minimum price legislation that is the minimum price that the farmers must get for selling their product. This is done to safeguard the interest of the consumers whereas this is done to safeguard the interest of the sellers. Price ceiling is fixed below the equilibrium price whereas floor price is fixed above the equilibrium price. Price ceiling creates the situation of excess demand whereas floor price creates the situation of excess supply. Moving ahead to GDP and GNP. So GDP that is the gross domestic product is the final value of all goods and services produced within the domestic territory that is within the territorial or geographical borders of a country. Whereas GNP that is gross national product is the value of all final goods and services produced by the normal residents of a country as well as those who are outside the country. Basically, if we add NFIA, that is net factor income from abroad to GDP, we do get GNP. So that is the difference between the two. So coming next to monopoly and monopsony, which are often confused by the students. So what is monopoly? Monopoly is a situation of single seller and many buyers, whereas monopsony is a situation of single buyer with many sellers. Here, the seller controls the market supply, whereas under monopsony, the buyer controls the market demand. For example, the Indian railways, they have complete control of railways in India. Whereas under monopsony, we notice that Indian Air Force is the only buyer of fighter aircrafts in India. Moving next to cash reserve ratio and statutory liquidity ratio, commonly known as CRR and SLR, which are terms found under the money and banking chapter. So what is CRR? It is that percentage of the deposits which the commercial banks need to keep with the central bank of a country in the form of cash reserves. Whereas SLR is that proportion of the deposits which the commercial banks need to keep with themselves in the form of cash reserves, gold and government securities. This is around 3-5% to 5%, and this is in the range of 17-18%. to 18%. 
So lastly guys, I'll be talking about the break-even point and the shutdown point which are terms used under the cost and markets chapter. So what is break-even point? It occurs when the total revenue is equal to the total cost and the average revenue is equal to the average cost. Whereas a shutdown point occurs when the total revenue is equal to the total variable cost and the average cost exceeds the average revenue. Under this, this is a situation of no loss and no gain. Whereas shutdown point, the firm is incurring a loss in case of fixed cost. Here, the firm is able to cover all the costs, whereas under shutdown point, it is just able to cover its average variable cost. So that's all from my side, guys. Thank you for watching my video. Do like it and subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already. And hope to see you in the next video pretty soon.